Okay, guys, um, we're going to get a reading in. Um, I'm I still am being called to pull just regular, just whatever readings. Um, whatever Spirit has to say readings. So we're going to try this again. But this time we're going to pull a sign. Six. Forty-four again. Idols. You put her on a pedestal, love her, adore her, crown her as your queen. Then you watch and wait for a slip, a split second when her guard is down. You would tear her into pieces just to claim a fragment of her story. No one can be perfect all the time. Why do you expect her to be any different? Why is she held to an impossible standard? Why do you take it so personally when she contradicts the version of herself that exists only in your head? You think you know her, that she owes you somehow. That person, she lives and breathes. She hopes and dreams. She has a life, a love, a family, a purpose. And she doesn't owe anyone a damn thing. All right. Like this is starting out. I'm not. I'm not even lying. A whole lot better than last night. All right. All right, spirit. Tell me about this. Okay, light attributes up this time. Poet and warrior. Express soul insights in symbolic language strength skills discipline and toughness of will heroism and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego all right okay so whoever this is poet warrior <laughs> the rabbit. We've got someone who, which surprisingly, the rabbit, you would think it would be someone that just, that it, it means like going full force. This is someone who's waiting for something. Um, it, it's someone who is waiting, but they know their self. Like, they know they have this feeling of where they belong what makes them happy but it makes it makes this person very vulnerable um they could be dealing with somebody somebody else who has a hard time letting their emotions out being vulnerable but these emotions, these feelings, somebody's emotions in the story are coming out to the surface. Like they can't hold it in any longer. Um, 
and whoever this is, like they're planning on something. Yeah, someone's trying to make a plan, just like the spider web. You know, they wet, they weave the web. And I have a feeling that this is this web where this person feels like they belong. Like uh, it's it's somebody it's in somebody's wishes, in their hopes and wishes. Their hopes and wishes is to give somebody a status. Like I just heard, <laughs> if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. your discernment see the truth be guided trust your inner knowing okay so spirit's advice is to trust your inner knowing this person has two paths ahead of them which way do they want to go do they want to wait on this status you know because they're still in waiting mode do they want to wait on this status because there's a possibility that if it's the wrong path they could just fall straight into complacency. Let's see here. All right, what is, what's underneath spirit? What is, what's going on underneath that we don't see? It's hidden. Literally. This is somebody who could want to travel. Either that or it's somebody who lives at a distance from you. This is someone who has the ability to embody all of the energies. Earth, air, wind, fire, you know, or wait. You know, all of the elements. either that or they have struggled through all of the elements okay my chest hurts deception and I mean like hurt hurts I don't know if this person has heart problems I don't know okay so we've got a deception here New supportive connections, professional assistance, hidden motivations, loving man, and behind a mask. Yeah, you've got the loving man who wants to come in and literally put a ring on it. This deception could be coming from this person's person. I have a feeling this person has multiple people that they're keeping. Like you have the person they're in a relationship with, they're deceiving. You have someone that they work with, you know, and some one or two other people. I don't know if they've got someone in the background and someone, you know, it's like they have this person's keeping friends. 
or they're keeping people. I mean, I have a feeling there's a there's one that is definitely a deception. But then this person has so many other people. And they're hiding it all because they have hidden motivations and they're hiding it behind a mask. And in between hidden motivations and behind a mask is the loving man. The loving man who wants to put a ring on it. And literally, Spirit's advice is use your discernment. So this could be someone who's sitting here waiting on this to come to fruition. But literally, this person over here has so many other people and I can't... It's like they're, he's coming to bring flowers, but what is he bringing besides that? I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's see what's going on. Not the deck that I was thinking. Let's see. I am walking home to you. I'm not sure where I am on the path, but I am walking it. Okay, so this person, look, they're walking this path, but their suitcase is already at their door. Like, they're traveling, they're doing something, but this person's heart is still home. I hurt you and I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was reacting in fear. I have a feeling this is a female who was afraid that someone was acting in deception, but the, the way that I'm seeing these cards, they were, they are. And they're just really good at hiding it. I have a feeling this is someone who's using their intuition. And their intuition is telling them that this person is holding other people. And they maybe they said something to their person. And their person turned it back around. And this person feels bad. This person, you know, it's kind of like they felt like they were in the wrong for even saying something. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like narcissistic energy where if you get mad at them, you end up apologizing or you, you end up apologizing because you got mad at them for some horrible thing that they did. I don't know. Let's see. Here we go. Surrendering brings us together faster than resistance. The universe brings brought us together for a reason. I am discovering what these reasons are. You think I'm not listening to you, but I am. I hear everything you say and re even replay our conversations in my head. My ego is fragile to criticism and rejection. I have created walls to protect myself. Oh, so this female said something to this male and it hurt his ego.
There are subconscious fears affecting our ability to attract love and abundance. The universe is helping us make these conscious, make them conscious so we can easily attract what we want, including each other. Okay, so it's like, I have a feeling this is an on again, off again energy. Because look at this. We go from this masculine and this feminine as singles. We then go to this couple that is looking at each other. And then we have this masculine who looks other places. Maybe this is a deception that happened in the past. But this couple came back together. They came back together. Some, some kind of fears are affecting them. But in the end, they know it's supposed to be them. Both of them. And do not... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. If you are in a connection, and this isn't both sided two sided you know if it's not an equal give and take if it's not both people that want this connection this is that that's not the same thing as you know we're both we're going to end up together this is literally two people that both want this connection yeah because look here the wedding photo we have a past we have a past life connection. Memories are surfacing either consciously or subconscious. So a lot of this stuff, it's like, um, there's things that they, they can't explain because it's, it's more in the subconscious. And it says, last one I'm going to pull here is when I let myself go deeper into thoughts of you, I can feel my heart opening. Yeah, so this is someone who has a hard time being vulnerable. But when they think about this person, when they think about this person, it, it opens them up. What do we got coming in the future for this story, please, Spirit? second story I'm getting is the beginning part, but then you had a couple and there was a deception and this person chose somebody else. <clears throat> they didn't just choose somebody else. Then they went to somebody else. And then they came back. They came back to their person. They offered their heart to this person, this single person, the one, the one who could be like the family, the happiness. But there's something hidden. Somebody else. There's, this man is, this man is caught in between two women in this second story. He could be fighting with one and he could be with the other. Either way, there's one of them is a karmic, but one of them is destined to be the first this person's mate forever. Maybe they went and they offered their love to a blonde, but their true person has dark hair. I don't know or a light colored hair, you know, like light blonde, red, or brown, but the person, yeah, I think it does resonate. So, so it, 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 these two people are complete opposites either way, whether it's hair color or whether it's just 
whatever. These two people are completely opposites. We've got candles. Autumn. The magic. I'm getting all the elements again. This person is missing home in autumn. They're missing their true person. This person wants their person back. <sighs> Sorry, my eye keeps itching. I don't know if there's something that somebody really needs to see. Something that could be illuminated, which could be these other people that this person has hidden. person all right spirit saying someone really needs to keep their boundaries up right now they really need to keep their boundaries up because this person does not know what they want like here yeah this person doesn't know what they want so this is spirit saying keep your boundaries up so you don't get hurt you know make sure you're finding the truth you know what work on you and plan a life for what you want and you know if this person comes in and they're able to fit where they're supposed to fit then that's great you know, it could be an air sign does not have to be um, but spirits wanting you to figure out who you are and what it is that you want in your life so that people can't come in with their own personal motives and you know try to control you so you aren't happy yeah because look you've got multiple women here multiple different colors. I said red, yellow, or blonde. Looks like light gray here too. I don't, I don't know. This masculine has shadow work to do. They they have a they have shadow work to do. This is the first time I've actually seen a reflection in this mirror. This is a masculine who's finally seeing their reflection. I literally, as many times as I've used these cards, I have never seen that. Because when you look at it back here, it, it doesn't really look like anything, but literally I've never seen that face in that before somebody's literally seeing their face for the first time they're seeing who they are for the first time like this masculine is he's seeing what he needs to fix he's seeing what he needs to do <laughs> as I just said masculine this masculine This masculine has got to, he's got to like contain himself and you know, he could be working on his money, but this is over a marriage or, you know, trying to burst something with someone, if not having a child. And if, if by any chance I have a feeling, huh? okay, so there's a possibility this person could have deceived somebody 
deceived this person and got this person pregnant. Either that or... this other connection is is growing they they are seeing who they were in the past and they know where they want to grow and they're bringing this into fruition they're trying to bring this to life What do the angels have to say about this connection? Let's get these all turned right. All right. What do the angels have to say about this connection? Peace and tranquility with trees and forests. Be faithful and loyal to people and causes. Work towards spiritual fulfillment. All right, what else? Spirit, this one. Learn about nature's flower secrets. So learning about the secrets. Watch out for possible snags and pitfalls. I have a feeling this there's a lot of red flags in this connection. I think that's what Spirit is trying to say here. Angels are trying to say. Manage, release, or refocus anger. Choose your door to the light. Literally. This this is the third or fourth time that Spirit's saying you need to choose what path do you want. under the deck of this little tiny one, make time for some silent reflection. Yeah, either way, this is the one of the feminines in this story. Their person has deceived them. They have, they're being asked. They're being told pretty much that they have to choose their path. Their soul's journey. Okay, so someone is texting you about someone is texting someone about clearing cleansing the energy like getting rid of the past and moving forward could be around the winter solstice is the time that someone will finally forgive everything maybe <laughs> maybe maybe they will forgive this person around winter maybe Time for play. I have a feeling someone is forgiving and they are letting it go and they're moving on. This soulmate connection that comes in, it helps this person get a better perspective on life, on love, on everything, you know. This person is, they are very romantic. There is like tons of romance in this with this soulmate connection, but Spirit's saying more info is needed. Someone needs to find out 
something. There's something that is still being hidden. Spirit's saying, pause before you take the action. See what it is that you want to harvest because someone could even be throwing shade on you or your connection. I don't... Someone could be throwing shade on what it is that you're trying to harvest for yourself because they want to return to you. This could be... Yeah, and more is still to be revealed. Okay, this is like ridiculous. There's like so much stuff hidden here. I'm apart. I'm part could fall in winter because low vibes. Maybe someone can't get to where they need to go. Here we go. We got set boundaries again. I have a feeling someone could be finding out their person was still talking to somebody else. This old soulmate. And remember that um, soulmate is just a mate to our soul. It doesn't mean like... The person that we are 100% guaranteed to be with, you know, we have many soulmates we're going to come in contact with in this lifetime. Um, there's some that are just plain soulmates. There are some that are karmic soulmates. Some that are divinely guided soulmates. Yeah, someone needs to set boundaries. Again, hidden agenda. Because they want a new lifestyle. This person is, I have a feeling... Someone here wants to use this person so that they can level up their lifestyle. It's not about love. It's not about being with this connection. It's what can this person do for, for this person. Okay, there's going to be a different perspective change. And this person's going to stand up for themselves. They're not going to be, they're no longer going to be disrespected. They won't take it. Um, and this is the person who's going to be there for the long haul. But you still have this other character who's like lurking behind the scenes. Because they see this person being positive, being happy. Maybe this person literally got with this person just to try to um, improve their life, but they ended up falling in love. Yeah, I'm hearing that song out after London fell in love. Financial improvements. The time is now. Walk it off. There's going to be some kind of news that comes in. Oh, it could be about someone who's wanting to return. And they're going to be like, no. Walk it off. And they're saying, it's not personal, but I have to speak my truth. There are children here. This is not a... This is only sexually based... But I, I'm not, I don't want to repeat the past. Literally, if we go back and I try this again, we're going to repeat the past. We are going to start a whole new karmic cycle and it is going to tear us apart again. And I'm not going to repeat it this time. Not for lust because there are children here and I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to tell, they're going to tell this person it's not personal. It's not you. You know, you're fine. You know, you're good enough. But you're just not what is meant to be in my life now. You know, I need... I need something solid. I need something steady. I need something stable. 
I need trust and I don't trust you. Saying that to the, the returning, the person, the other person, because I have the ability to have this brand new start. And I fear and I worry if I even enter, if they feel and they worry if they even entertain this past person, they're going to lose it. And they will because this person has already told them, you need to respect me. Otherwise, I'm gone. You know, you need to get a better perspective on what lifestyle it is that you want. But if, if you don't respect me, if you hide things from me, if there is a secret that's underneath and I can't trust you there, this person will leave and I can't blame them. Memories, fear and worry. All right. So this person who's in this connection could also be a past person because they're, they're having memories come up about this person about maybe about what they did to this person in the past and it causes very low or very strong feelings and it, it's sometimes when this person thinks about what they did to this person in the past it it, it has them go low vibe But Spirit's saying it is time, it will be time to forgive. But there's somebody here who is in low vibe, who you are in separation from. This person is very envious and jealous, and Spirit is saying, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Around winter, this person, I have a feeling something's going to happen in winter. And even if this person has felt like they were able to get rid of this person, get them out of their energy, they didn't realize this person's still holding on to them. This person is still in their energy. In winter, it's going to be completely, it's going to be completely cleared. It's all psychic abilities there. So it's like this person's trying. I guess the person who's messed up is trying. But I have a feeling that they fear that they're going to repeat past cycles. All right, so this person is stepping into their energy. This feminine energy is stepping into her, into her power. They could be starting a new career or they could be leaving something behind. Closure. Grieving. Protecting. Protection and prosperity. One more. Freedom and friendship. This, somebody here could be losing a job. Okay.
that's that the somebody possibly could be losing a job. That's just a warning to where if you think, if you have thought recently, you know, I need to step it up or I might get fired. This is literally spirit saying you need to step it up. Literally, you need to step it up right now. You need to stand in your power so that you can advance your career. You need to climb this ladder. This could be someone who could, who could be wanting a raise, who could wanting to be climbing this corporate ladder. Um, this person is choosing their path and they're closing off the others. And this person could grieve from this. But the reason why they're doing it is because they are protecting everything that they're trying to build. You know, when they're telling this other person, go on, you have, you have freedom, you know, I still care about you. You know, I'll still think of you as a friend, but that's all that we're going to be. We're only friends and we're not friend friends as in we're friends in thought and mind because look it's just like when I think of you I'll think of you as a friend not as in anything more so set yourself free from thinking that there's going to be more and so literally it's going to cause a pause with the three of wands there is someone's going to be evaluating the situation because with the moon card here there's a lot of stuff that was not seen however they they could be getting dreams but this person has to recover they have a lot of healing they've got to do they need to rest you know with that four of swords now I'm getting tired <laughs> nine of pentacles content and solitude like this person is content and solitude because they're working on their career maybe that somebody works from home oh. we're going to take it because if it falls to the floor it comes to your door these cards are everywhere all right, what do we got here? The High Priestess. Things that are hidden. The, the Keeper of Secrets. The secret is that somebody's afraid. This, per this person has fear that maybe they might not be able to withstand the pressures from others or the temptation or the manipulation or this person could be threatening this other person he, they could be manipulating them with threats they could be using a child over them this is spirit is saying use caution um, go with this with a balanced approach Someone needs to control their anger and be um, very disciplined because there's something that you don't see that blends in. Maybe someone has like sent you a friend request and they're not as somebody else, but it's really them. It's like they're blending in so you don't see them, but they're still there. Okay. Okay the not of cups somebody who is is listening to the heart someone is now listening to their heart not their ego not anything else and that is what is going to bring the victory in this situation with the ten of pentacles this is like um wish fulfillment all right, so I feel like this is just repeating itself a lot. So, 
So yeah. That's what I got for you guys. Somebody wants to go back to the person who has been there for a long time that has made them feel like home. They've had horrible past, but they're ready to close the chapters of the past. And it may be hard for them, but they're wanting to protect this connection, what it is they're trying to build. They're just afraid that they may fuck up or they might fall off that tightrope there or be tempted by someone or be manipulated or threatened by someone to choose the wrong path. But this person's been in a cage for the longest time and they're finally setting themselves free to go towards the victory because they've been on this rocking horse rocking back and forth, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I want this. I don't want this. Want it. Don't what it do so it needs to heal and a lot of times for us to be able to discern which path that we truly want to make we have to heal so that we're not looking at this situation through eyes of the past <coughs> get that so that it gives us a new perspective so that we can see the light we can visualize it in our head and that's how we can manifest it manifest getting off of this rocking horse getting off of this merry-go-round and round and round and round and go go straight towards the victory but you have to choose you have to use your discernment which path is the right one We're going to do two. We're going to do two. Well, no, we'll do three. Because there's... Okay. Virgo. Sagittarius. Aquarius. Well, there's one more. We're. I guess we're doing four. Capricorn. Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn. Choose your path wisely. So that you don't get back on that karmic cycle all over again. Choose your path wisely. Virgo, you're on top. You're going to be the more dominant one um, for this connection. Followed by Sagittarius and Aquarius and Capricorn. Um, so see the story. And now you know to use your discernment and to pay very, very close attention to what is right for you. All right. All right, guys. That's what I have for you guys. I hope this helped. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe down below. Um, that way I can pull your energy uh, and you'll get notified for my next videos. But until then, as always, stay weird.